First responders are preparing for a busy summer, and our Amelia Magavaro was able to ride along with MedStar crews as they handle calls during this heat advisory. MedStar medics like John Hamilton are stocking up with supplies and gearing up to respond to an influx of heat-related calls. We have cold packs um, that we can put on their body, axillary positions to help cool them if we need to, air conditioning. Since the heat index is above 105, Hamilton says MedStar has activated their emergency weather response protocol across Fort Worth. We upgrade our responses to a lights and sirens response to get somebody out of the elements that may need our help uh, and get them some more definitive treatment. And on Monday, the call's already pouring in. Um, I feel very dizzy. Uh, I don't feel good at all. I'm very dizzy and very hungry and dehydrated. This pregnant patient calling 911 Monday afternoon, saying she and her husband have been out in the heat for days. MedStar crews rushing to get her cool and hydrated. I'm going to get some fluids ready, okay? Hamilton explains the most vulnerable people to the heat are the elderly and homeless. Last year, MedStar actually responded to nearly 1,000 heat-related calls in the summer. More than 700 of those transported to the hospital, 55 of them critical calls, and nine of them kids trapped in hot cars. Hamilton says he expects this summer to be even busier. It's kind of one of the things where you plan for the worst and hope for the best. Uh, but the earlier we get the 100 degree days, the longer it feels like we're going to have the extreme heat in the. And MedStar medics say the biggest way to stay safe this summer is really know the signs. If you feel dizzy and coherent, call 911 immediately and also really try to hydrate as much as you can this summer because dehydration can really sneak up on you days later. In Fort Worth, Amelia McGovro, CBS News, Texas. Yeah, we talk about the